We have made it to the Pacific coast once again. It's been like 10 months, nine or 10 months since we saw the ocean. So we got into the camp late yesterday afternoon. We just kind of rested up. The drive here was uneventful. So we decided to take a day off from filming. Woke up this morning, had breakfast in our van. All right, we've been settled into our camp now for two days. We have not popped in and videoed for you guys because this turned in to the perfect campsite to hunker down, get some editing done. How you doing, Kurt? Getting her done. Getting it done. But we've both caught up. Kurt has about 10 more minutes. So the waiters here just finished setting up some microphones and a speaker. We hear there's live music tonight. And after all the work we have done, I think we could use a little break. I think we're gonna come back out here and enjoy that. But we're literally perched right over the Pacific Ocean here, guys. It's been a bit hazy today, but it has been beautiful, peaceful, relaxing. And this place just continues to just surprise you at every corner. It has a nautical theme. And there is just old, cool ship and pirate stuff and whale stuff everywhere. Now, unfortunately, we're a couple of months early, but in July, the whales swim right by here, coming from the south, headed up to warmer waters. You guys know we love the whales. We just haven't been in sync with their schedules. Let me show you guys where we're parked. I know you can see the van, but let me show you the other side of the van. Talking oceanfront parking, oceanfront living for sure, guys. Look out there. Can't get any closer than that without falling in the ocean. Wake up the Celebrate Life is better on the bright side I got a pocket full of sunshine I see it all in a new light Life is better on the bright side But out here the grass is green The sky is always bright blue Ocean's a little deeper if you can see it like I do. Can't think of nothing better to so come up and enjoy the view. Feels like the perfect weather for every dream to come true. Life's better on the bright side. I got a pocket full of sunshine. Good morning, everyone. If I'm being honest, we've been here a while. <laughs> we came up the co we came over here from Cuenca to the coast, and this is a little town called Bayanita, just north of Salina along the coast. And to be honest with you, we have this amazing parking spot over here by this hotel restaurant and really museum and really resort so you can see right here at the ferry on right here salinas is right here and we're gonna head north 
and search across the beaches. But before we get out of this place, I wanted to show you a little bit because it is super cool. We've learned a lot about the history since we've been here. The father has passed away. Uh, the mother and the children still are here and still running the place. But it has this amazing museum, this collection of antiquities, mostly marine based that were put together by the father he was in the merchant marines and traveled throughout the world and just collect a lot of bits and pieces, again, mostly maritime pieces uh, from his travels. And, you know, I'm not normally a big museum guy, but I gotta tell you, the collection here is really unique and really fits the style of this place. There's so many people here who are willing to share the history not only of this place, but also some of these little pieces. What we learned is they actually pulled a like 1850 ship from the ocean off the coast of Ecuador. You can see some of the wood here. They pulled it out from the bottom of the sea. A lot of the bounty, a lot of the pieces, parts of the boat are here in the museum. So it's just kind of a really unique piece of history. In addition, they have a nice pool, a beautiful restaurant with a nice view. The restaurant is also look, uh, is also full of all sorts of cool antiquities as well. And so it's pretty unique. The family here has been really nice. We've been able to stay right up in front of the reception area, which gives us an amazing view. We also have Wi-Fi. They have bathrooms here and they have showers. There's the pool. And this place I think would be amazing and is frequently used for big events like weddings and things like that. Now I have a confession to make. We don't, we heard some amazing Latin music last night. South American music, live music, played on the stage, it was really good. The problem is we can't share it with you because of licensing, licensing agreements. So I'm not even sure if you guys are aware. Frequently, if there's music playing in the background and we do not have the rights to it, we have to go ahead and cut that music out. Sometimes we overlay music, sometimes we can't but we frequently get questions about the music and that is one of the reasons that we're always apprehensive because we don't want to get copyright claimed and our video pulled because we're using unauthorized music. So there you guys go. Sometimes you wonder why we're not playing the authentic music. That's why. But as I talk to you, I'm walking down to the beach and I gotta be honest with you. I have yet to do this. We've been here multiple days and I haven't come down to the beach. It's been relaxing up by the van and great views. Also, we had to get some work done. We're here about six weeks before the whales start showing up. But if you all know us, we had our eyes out there staring on the horizon and we just haven't been able to catch up with them. But in any event, the pelicans, the frigate birds, the parrots, and all the other cool stuff have been flying around and sort of taking the place. But since today's a day of confessions, I gotta be honest, I didn't even bother to pull out the camera. We just relaxed and enjoyed it. So, we are going to head north to our next beach, where hopefully we'll be able to show you some more of what the Ecuador coastline looks like. And I'm gonna go put my toes in the sand. All right, we are leaving the little beach community of Bayanita. It is just north of a bigger city type place uh, right by the coast called Salinas. But we are headed north. We have two weeks to explore a five hour stretch of the Ecuadorian coast that they call Ruta de Sol. And I am excited. 
We're still driving north along the coast. We've gone through a few small towns. This one, uh, Val, Valdaria, something like that. A little small fishing village without a doubt. And this is the first time we've seen the fishing boats parked up on the beach where they had like little parking stalls that were covered. And there were definitely a lot of birds and they were selling some of the fish right along the side of the road. This little town's definitely a fishing village. All right, you guys are gonna hear G meowing in the background and it's not cause anything is wrong. It's cause he's excited about the campsite we found just like I am. It looks like a place he's really gonna enjoy and I think he knows it. But we are in a beach town called Montanita. It is a tourist town. It's known for some partying and some beaches and some surfing. But we found, after three tries, it took several tries to find the right campsite, we found a very tranquil place to camp. We're gonna spend at least one night here, maybe two. And uh, we'll show you the camp when we get in there. Kurt's in there working out the details. Then we gotta park this giant van. And then we gotta open the door for the kitties because you hear him. He sees that this is a cool place. Our campsite, right here, a cool little hostel type place, being vendidos to our camp for at least two days. Who knows, maybe three. Kurt's toured it quite a bit, I have not. It's very pretty. But, we're just walking through the yard to go out the front door because to park, you come in the back door. We're gonna walk down to the beach, aren't we, Kurt? We're headed to a beach bar, guys, let's go. What a cool place. All right, what do y'all think? Will Kurt take yoga or hula hoop dance lessons? I vote there's a pretty good chance he might take a yoga class. All right, the name of this place is the Balsa Surf Camp. Welcome to the beach. It's been a long time since we put our feet in the sand. One thing I'm pretty excited about is it's not really as hot as I expected, is it, Kurt? No, it's not. Welcome to Playa Montanita. And it's a little surf beach right here. And we can look off to one side and we can see a huge cliff with the waves crashing on them, which is pretty cool. There's a few surfers out there, not a ton. And then down the other way, you can see the umbrella filled beach. So that's where we're headed because we're looking for a little beach bar. Right, Kurt? Yeah. Let's go. Gracias. What'd you do, Kurt? Look at this big old cup of fruit. Watermelon, bananas, pineapples, mangoes, apples, apples passion fruit, blueberry, Ooh. sweet cream on top. How it's much? Tasty. Two dollars. I got this feeling. Yeah, it's stirring in my bones. It's got me dreaming. Chasing that golden coast We just gotta live in the moment Blow your Monday, let's just go for it Pack your bags and I'll grab the door We'll head straight for the sun I've been thinking we should get away, get away Leave our troubles for another day, another day Gonna take you to a sunny place, sunny place I just wanna be with you Straight for the sun I've been thinking we should get away Get away Leave our troubles for another day Another day Gonna take you to a sunny place Sunny place I just wanna be with you
One thing I don't think we've told you guys yet, Ecuador, the country, has lifted their mask mandate. Now we'll just wear masks if we feel like it's somewhere that we should. Now the three big cities, what are the big cities? Quito, Cuenca, Cuenca and Guayaquil. The cities have mask mandates in order, but we're far away from a city right now. So, no masks. Happy days down here in Ecuador. All right, we're back from our little beach excursion to go have a beer for Kurt and some pineapple juice for me. Back at our camp. But on our way back, we passed a little restaurant. What does it have, Kurt? Empanadas. Empanadas. So we're gonna walk over there, see if we can get an empanada. So we went over for an empanada snack. It turned into an empanada dinner. Those were the best carne empanadas ever. They weren't fried, they were kind of baked. And they had like a stew in them. There were carrots and peas mixed in with the meat. It was so good, we accidentally ate three each. And now we're headed back to the van. So when we took a walk yesterday, we decided for sure that this looked like a place to pull out the bikes. On a wave, on a mission, I'ma start the ignition and go to space. Blessed up with ambition, no time for indecision, what a waste. I can show you things you ain't seen yet, put it all down, make a big bet. Pop in the back with the rejects, we can have it all with the blank check. bike ride we went back to the van Kurt cooked us up some yummy lunch and then he took a nap so I've walked down to the beach catching a little bit of vitamin D watching some surfers relaxing guys we're doing a lot of relaxing today all right it's about 3 30 in the afternoon we've decided to head back down to town on our bikes See if we can find something to get into. What have you done, Kurt? All right. These beaches of Ecuador are known for their seafood. Been wanting to try some. So I got a little seafood paella. Looks like it's got some octopus, some little clams, uh, some shrimp, a big, I guess, I don't know. If I think it's a river lobster. So a crawdad maybe. Anyway, and there's also something else under here. I don't know, but it looks pretty tasty. I found the fish. There's some fried fish down in there. And there's also some calamari. This thing is tasty. How much does this thing cost? <laughs> if you've been following along for a while, you know I'm not a big fan of seafood, but I do like shrimp if it's fried or with a lot of cocktail sauce. So while we're here on the beach, I'm afraid it's going to be a lot of fried shrimp for me, but it's good. We're full, we're happy, we're gonna head back to the van. I think we've decided we'll stay another day. Yeah, it's a good place. We're in no hurry. Morning, everyone. And welcome to the Balsa Surf Camp. And to be honest with you, there's no. We had a real nice parking spot right here amongst these big old palm trees and Beach mosquitoes, look at the big fish. But it was a little bit expensive. It was $16 a night, $8 a piece, but that did come with electricity, which was nice. We were able to run the air conditioning a little bit, not that we needed to. Yoga is in session, so we'll move away from that. So this, they have surf lessons here, and also a real nice yoga studio. Hammockas, bathrooms, they have a really good breakfast here, a nice restaurant. I think this little area is one that people come to just for the little restaurants and different experiences in this different place. As you can see, the courtyard is super nice. 
The rooms kind of have a cool little vibe to them, a beach vibe. Kind of reminds me a little bit of in Puerto Escondido and some other places we've been. But you can see up here is the reception. And then we do have to cross the street to the beach. So right there on the other side of Solomar is the beach. But it's not too bad actually, you just walk down this road and this is the place that has killer brownies and killer empanadas. 360 there, it's closed. But if you come here, you definitely wanna try their empanadas. And yeah, here's the beach access. And the main town just away a little bit. I think we showed you that. But the reality is we kind of just been lounging around, being lazy, not doing a lot of video and enjoying this beach and also getting caught up in some stuff. We did a nice little cleanup of the van. Uh, yeah, obviously that needs it from time to time. So we just got some chores done and more than anything, guys, we've just been chilling out at this beautiful little place, but the theme is beach bouncing in Ecuador. And so we're headed up to another beach. We're not exactly sure what our stop is, but we're headed out. So let's go. Okay, we are leaving Montanita, which is kind of known as the party town. It was a good little place to just stop and relax and kind of acclimate back down to sea level. <laughs> but now we're heading north along the coast and we have no idea where. We're just driving along the coast until we find somewhere we want to stop. So we've made it to the little beach town of Ayampe. This place is on iOverlander as a place where campers can use, but nobody's been here since like 2018. So we will have to see if Kurt can work his magic. No go? No, they want to rent a room and do it some other way. So it's just too expensive. But it's really pretty and nice. All right. So I think we have found our camp for the night. Looks like some rain might be coming in. Got a few palm trees. Maybe a little restaurant over here. Kurt's out somewhere. Let's see if we can find him. All right, Kurt has started up a little game of soccer. <laughs> I think the door is the goal. That's spicy. All right, Kurt has declared this spicy. If Kurt says it's spicy, that means that's hot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna eat. It looks like when the food came, Kurt was allowed to quit playing soccer. But we've got a great little view of the ocean and a nice little small town. Not touristy at all, right, Kurt? Beach. So lunch was tasty. Even though it was fried shrimp, they were very light, not a lot of grease. And uh, it's kind of what I'm stuck eating down here. Cause I don't do a lot of seafood, but look at this view. All right, I think we have for sure found our campsite for the night. We're gonna park right here by this restaurant and look at our view for the afternoon and into the night. Took a few stops to find a camp spot for the day, but we did. The little restaurant has Wi-Fi and they were very fun. Made Kurt play soccer for like an hour in the restaurant. So for the past week, we've gone to three different beaches, three complete different personalities of the beach. Uh, the first one had that museum and it was awesome. The second one was in what's considered the party town of this coastal section. And this last one, it was just a peaceful place to spend the night. Everybody here was kind, the locals were friendly. Got to watch the kids play in soccer. And this beach is also a place where the sea turtles come up. And I love how they protect them by putting the little wire grate over them. And they have the signs telling you that there's turtles there. So this community cares about the wildlife of the ocean. That always makes me happy. 
but it's time to wind this video down. We will see you in a few days from another beach. Some beach somewhere. <laughs> Cheers, guys. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.